In this class, we will learn how to work with equations in SOLIDWORKS, as adding equations to modeling is an important design intent tool. With the equations we can control the dimensionals of the model from simple rules, creating formulas to restrict their numeric values. Let's look at how to use this feature. First, open the template provided in the files of this class. With its dimensionals displayed, see that when you click on a dimension, its properties are displayed. Dimensions have been renamed because in the formula line the dimensionals are displayed with their full name. We activate the command equations and note that a window opens. In this version of SOLIDWORKS this command has been updated, including new options and enabling advanced use of this feature. In this course, we will learn only how to insert equations in a basic way. See that we can choose the desired view mode. Leaving in equation view mode, see that we have global variables, where we can add constants to use in our formulas. We type the in the column name and in value, equation, we type 25 and hit enter. In features, we can select a feature and set its state to suppressed or not, note the example. And in equations we can add equations easily. Just click on the add equation line and click on the dimensional that will be controlled by the equation. See that we are automatically directed to the other line, to enter the parameters of the equation. Note that we can choose global variables created, functions or properties easily. In our case, we select the global variable that we create and complete the equation as shown. Look at the check indicating that the equation is correct. We hit enter and see the result of the equation. Next, we will add another equation. We select the dimensional shown. In the sequence, we define the parameters of the equation and hit enter. Note that the calculated value now for the height is different from what we have in the piece. To update the part, just click on this icon, Note. We've added one more equation, keep up. Now the main measurements of our piece are controlled by the equations we've created. We can easily edit the constants and equations created by clicking on the respective lines, deleting the current values and parameters, and entering others. Always remembering to press enter to confirm changes and click rebuild to rebuild the template. Note that formulas are read in the order they are written, i.e. from left to right, so care should be taken to write them in the correct reading order. We've confirmed the equation editing box. See that the folder equations has been added in the feature manager, showing the created constant. We can easily access the equation editor by right-clicking on the folder or on the constant, and clicking on Manage Equations.
Note that dimensionals that have equations can be easily distinguished because they have an identification symbol next to the numeric value. By changing the control dimensional, the others are updated automatically. We have seen in this class how to create simple rules to control model dimensionals, defined by design intent, using SOLIDWORKS Equations feature. Train the use of this editor, as it is a differentiator for designing parametric projects, which allow quick editing and time saving.